Okay, this is part two. I had ended on page 25, and now I'm on page, uh, I was going to do, you know, all of the planets, and uh, where did they get their origin, where the origin of the planets, but anybody who wants to learn that, you can easily get one of these books, or just look it up on the internet. These days, things are so easy to find. Okay, so uh, asteroids and comets. Asteroids orbit the sun in the space between Mars and Jupiter. The asteroids are more than 2,000 masses of rock. Some astronomers believe that the asteroids may have once been a planet that disintegrated. Okay. <clears throat> the moon the moon is a sat is a satellite of earth the moon in the sky is the only body of in the solar system in which man has landed okay and here we go for <clears throat> the total solar eclipse the umbra of the moon touches the earth and the sun's corona can be seen when part of the earth passes through the moon's penumbra a partial solar eclipse occur when the moon passes through the earth's umbra a total lunar eclipse occur when the moon passes through the Earth's pen number, a partial lunar eclipse e occur. Okay, so <laughs> um, tools. Exploring the stars and the sky is a is fascinating. In studying astronomy, um, I have found the true scientific spirit. Uh, so they have uh, one of the oldest instruments used in astronomy is the telescope. Okay. And uh, ta -ta -ta. they also use cameras. Okay. A spectroscope. The radio telescope. And of course, the new spacecraft. Uh, Alright, so they have several tools to use to help them in their exploration of the planets um out of space yeah okay so measurement and terms like all scientists astronomers have a special language okay The horizon is the line where the earth and the skies seem to meet. The zenith is the point in the sky directly overhead. And the nadir is the point directly below the observer. Okay? The celestial poles point on the celestial sphere that are directly above the North and South Pole. Okay. Yes. Now. We are going to page. Doo -doo -doo -doo, page 38. Okay. Where we are in part 3. Where the meteorologists. 
at work. Okay. I don't know, there was something very disturbing over there. The air that surrounds the earth is the atmosphere. The atmosphere is made up of many gases. The gases are held in place by the earth's gravitation gravity. These gases are made up of tiny particles called molecules. These tiny molecules are able to move away from each other. The movement of wind proves that these molecules can move. Structure. The meteorologist must know the structure of the atmosphere. The atmosphere is made up of 78% nitrogen and 21% of oxygen. The remaining 1% is made up of mainly of argon and carbon dioxide. Okay. Two other important gases in the atmosphere are water vapor and ozone. Okay. So let's look at some terms. The stratosphere, the mesosphere, the ionosphere, greenhouse effect, nitrogen, the troposphere, atmosphere, oxygen, thermosphere, ozone, no fear. Okay? So you can match these up on page 39. So easy. Pollution. Pollution of the atmosphere is so widespread that meteorologists must study the pollution levels in the atmosphere. Meteorologists have classified two types of pollution particles and gases. Smoke and soot are examples of particles. Carbon monoxide, a poisonous gas, is given off by automobile exhaust, and nitrogen oxides are examples of gases. Hydrocarbon gases are formed from unburned and unwasted automobile fuel. Yeah, a lot of pollution. Blue now van. It's very polluted. Okay. Um, elements of the weather. Temperature is a measurement of the amount of heat in an object. High pressure indicates cold, dry air. Low pressure indicates warm, moist air. The Enrod Barometer. Temperature affected affects the relative humidity. The temperature at which air becomes saturated with water vapor is the dew point. Cooler temperatures at night condense water vapor into a droplet called dew. Weather in motion. There are four types of air masses. The four type of air masses are continental, maritime, polar, and tropical. Continental air masses form over land. Maritime masses begin over large bodies of water. Polar masses are quite cold. Tropical masses are formed over warm tropic regions of the world. Meteorologists use the term continental and maritime to mean dry and moisture carrying respectively. Maritime polar air masses begin over northern large bodies of water and large bodies of water near the South Pole. Forecasting the weather. 
Weather forecasts are based on study of the past and present weather conditions. Meteorologists gather weather data, record the data, and make predictions based on the recorded data. Weather data is gathered from all over the world by following methods. Weather stations, pilot radio, ships, weather balloons, weather satellites. Okay, um, we're just going to go on to page 53, um, where we talk about nitrogen, soot, carbon monoxide, meteorologists, no star, ozonosphere, atmosphere, comet, stratosphere, hypothesis, and torricellis. Okay. Now we're going to go into the medical scientists at work. Tissue organ system. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Muscles, bones, skin. Nerves, brain and spinal cord, the five senses, metabolism, lungs and heart, breathing, blood vessels, blood and blood vessels, blood cell, digestive system, and uh, excretions, absorption, and that's it. So we pretty much skimmed Light Pack 710, the fourth printing. My name is Malika.